It is one of the most puzzling and persistent problems facing American education. How to stop the bullying that results in depression, even suicide for students. Well, here in Milwaukee, a unique and bold experiment may hold the solution. For the first time ever, local television cameras were allowed to see the inside the walls of the Alliance School. Mike Lowe has this Fox 6 exclusive. Beth, why didn't you call me? Oh. It's a typical day in high school for Robbie Moore. What class y'all got? Striding through the hallways. That's on your E2020. Mm -hmm. And stopping briefly for a tutorial in the lab. Nothing. Exactly. But Nothing. Robbie is hardly a typical high school student. <laughs> oh my. That's, uh, um, sure, I guess. Moore is transgendered. This is how I look without it. It's pretty. Pretty weird, I guess. And this is not a typical high school. Who you got? Yeah. It's not what you see happening. It's what you don't see that's important. None of the students are being bullied for being different. No one is being hassled or harassed, pointed at or picked on. This may be the only bully-free high school in America, the Alliance School in Milwaukee. The Alliance means together. It means bringing people who are different together. Tina Owen is the school's founder. I recognized that there was a lot of, of bullying things going on um, and tried to really address it within the school system but it seemed like such a, a big thing and not a lot of people knew what to do or how to address it. Okay. So with a grant from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation she opened a charter school with the explicit purpose of creating a safe haven for kids who had been bullied. It's one of the city's most racially diverse schools, a community built on respect and responsibility. You know, no matter what, if we disagree with each other, we don't harm each other. This is my family. I love you. It's quite a change for students like 16-year-old Manny Johnson, who was severely bullied in his last school. It was like a big weight lifted off my shoulders. Like I was just like, oh, well, I don't have to worry about this, and I don't have to worry about looking like this or acting like that. So he'll stop. Owen struggled with the idea that a separate school may not be an equal solution. I didn't want us to just take kids away from a problem and leave the problem behind. But for now, Alliance is a lifeline for students seeking a refuge from the endless onslaught of teasing and taunting. Unfortunately, the answer they get told is, well, if you just change the way you dress, or if you change the way you walk, or if you change the way you look, and that's just not possible for, for some students. While about half of the students here are gay, others arrived at Alliance after being bullied for a variety of reasons. Their weight, their race, their clothes, even their disabilities. 15-year-old okay. Sadie Miller came to Alliance as a middle schooler after years of harassment over the way she looked and dressed. At my old school, me and my sister were both being bullied. At Alliance, she says, it all changed. The school is awesome. Um, it's amazing. Her favorite subject is science fiction, but her most important lesson is one Alliance emphasizes, the golden rule. You treat them like they're supposed to be treated, not like an outcast. Good luck. As a charter school, Alliance must meet or beat the district on test scores and attendance, which it's doing. The graduation rate last year was 99 percent some 30 points higher than the average at MPS. The fact that we've been able to do it here shows that it works. And it's a place where kids can be themselves. And at least inside these walls, they can be treated like typical students. You know, this is who I am, this is who I'm always going to be. I'm Robert, I'm Asia, I'm Robbie, I'm, I'm Alliance. And Tina Owen says the Alliance students routinely speak at other schools, sharing the best practices they've learned and telling other schools what works to prevent bullying. Now, the choice school selection process is open now, and it runs through February 22nd. So if you're interested in enrolling, go to fox6now.com, and we'll have information on how you can contact the Alliance school. You answered my first question, which was about the grades, but, but are you going to tell me that there's a group of kids and no one bullies anyone? What would happen if there was bullying, do they address it right away? I mean, what, no, for whatever reason they've been bullied before, kids tend to have an alpha in the group sometime. Indeed, and it's not to say there are never incidents of bullying or incidents of harm, which they uh, term it at Alliance School, but they have something called democratic governance. So the students vote themselves on what the discipline should be, uh -huh. and it rarely ever happens again, according to Tina Owen, if there's ever an incident of harm when the students respond and the community responds because they know each other's stories and they know exactly what happens in each person's life. 
it doesn't happen again. Graduation rate underscores their sense of uh, in community, how important that is. It's great. Indeed, yeah. and it has the lowest suspension rate in the Excellent. entire city as well. Mike, thanks. Yeah. You know what all schools have in common? They want to know if they're having a snow they day. They sure do. No, no, no snow day tomorrow. No. Sorry, okay. got to let you down. Really? <laughs> no, okay. no snow day. It will be slippery, I think, for the morning commute. Some of the more steady snow coming in later on in the afternoon. So the morning rush hour, a bit slippery because there may be some sleet there that could cause a little icing, then some more.